Hi everyone, it's Emilia here. Welcome to my new video. Today I will be creating a card with hydrangea. I have found a really lovely uh, paper pad from Stamperia. It's called Hortensia and it's, it has beautiful Hortensia uh, means hydrangea flowers. The paper pad I have is 8 by 8 inch and it's perfect for my card as my card will be 10 by 20 and half centimeter. In the pad you will find some elements to cut out, some uh, tags, frames, sentiments. It's a lovely colorful um, design and I really really like those papers and I have even created uh, hydrangea flowers which will go on my card. For the flowers I used Lady E Design Flower 5 cutting dies and I made them out of Fomiran and colored with uh, turquoise and purple gelatos. I already decorated the inside of the card and now I will be uh, adding my top layers. So the first layer is just a blue pattern paper and on the top one, the top one is slightly smaller, actually by mistake, <laughs> but I thought uh, never mind, I'm going to uh, rip off the bottom edge of my layer and I will attach the second layer using double-sided foam tape. Before that I am going to use a tracing wheel and just to decorate the edges of my layer before sticking it on. To embellish the card I will be using flowers, piece of lace, lovely element cut out of the Stamperia papers, die cut leaves, shabby ribbons, artificial leaves, some dry roots, also a lovely chipboard frame from Bloomer Designs and a piece of cheesecloth and the cheesecloth I'm going to ink uh, green, this will be my uh, first layer. Uh, I just wanted to add the texture underneath my um, composition and then I will be adding a sizal also. So I'm sticking the uh, cheesecloth first and then I'm adding a frame and I only attach the frame in one place on the right where I'm going to keep my composition because I'm not sure uh, yet what I'm going to do and I just want to have that frame loose so if I need to add some elements underneath it I will be able to do it. It's always nice to uh, like don't secure your elements um, really tight at the uh, at the beginning when you make your card because then you can add something underneath and you can um, create many layers. The piece of lace I have I'm going to add on the bottom of my top layer. I just uh, thought it would be nice to, to have some border there. You could add a die cut element or some chipboard border. Just something to, to decorate that edge slightly more. 
and then I will be creating my uh, composition starting with the leaves then adding flowers and then filling the composition with the dry roots and those artificial elements I bought them in uh, in the craft store in the wedding um, department there were wedding like bouquets and uh, some artificial flowers and I found that lovely branch with tiny flowers and I think it's nice for uh, for card making especially for filling the compositions To finish the card I'm going to add a sentiment which says wonderful day and then I am going to add a little bit of texture using uh, gel medium and micro beads sequins and also a bit of glitter. Gel medium is a very strong adhesive and then I can be sure that these elements will stay on my card.
For the glitter I'm using glue and the brush, it's easier for me to apply the, the glitter with the brush, but of course you could use gel medium and then sprinkle the glitter on your card as well. And I'm using vintage mica flakes. I have it for a really long time and I just, I just love it. It's very, very lovely glitter. So this is it for today. My kite card is ready. I hope you like it and I hope you enjoy that video and maybe I will inspire you to create a similar card. If you are using my tutorials and if you create something with them, please tag me on social media, Lady E Design or Emilia Shirazan, and I will be happy to visit you and see what you have created. Thank you very, very much for watching. Have a lovely creative day. Bye bye!